Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. Different liners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other diseases and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who sent their private intentions. For the benefactors and friends of the Basilica and for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. Please kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins, and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts with the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us risk crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of God, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungson. Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. Please stand.
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we look up to Mary as our inspiration and model. May we imitate her in her total and generous cooperation with the community of our triune God. Mary is also the model of humility and submission to the mercy of God, because she was a woman who stands out among the poor and humble of the Lord. She was a woman of strength, who experienced poverty and suffering, flight and exile, and a woman whose action helped to strengthen the apostolic community's faith in Christ. She is our model of the Synodal Church. Through Mary's intercession, we lift our concerns, prayers, and intentions to the Father. And so, like Mary, we entrust ourselves to the mercy of God. Let us therefore acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God and to, to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters. And sisters that, that I, have I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, 
through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Lord our God, Savior of the human family, you brought salvation and joy to the home of Elizabeth through the visit of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Ark of the New Covenant. We ask that in obedience to the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, we too may bring Christ to others and proclaim your greatness by the praise of our lips and the holiness of our life. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you and turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. The Lord will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in his love. The Lord will sing joyfully because of you as one sings at festivals. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Among you is a great and holy one of Israel. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord and he has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations make known his deeds, proclaim how exalted is his name. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let us be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Among you is the great and Holy One of Israel. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, let love be sincere, hate what is evil, hold on to what is good, love one another with mutual affection, anticipate one another in showing honor. Do not grow slack in zeal, be fervent in spirit, serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, endure in affliction, persevere in prayer, contribute to the needs of the Holy Ones, exercise hospitality, bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep, have the same regard for one another, do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not be wise in your own estimation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Hallelujah, 
From the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in peace, to a town of Judah where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant lived in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please remain standing. <laughs> Please be seated. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country of Judea in haste. Brothers and sisters, let us reflect on the gospel and especially on the words in haste and hill country in haste. Si Mary ay nagapura na lumakad sa bulubundukin ng Hudeya. Nagapura. Maraming rason. There are many reasons why we hurry in our lives. 
One reason is nakamalay tayo sa flight natin, sa schedule natin, kaya nag-apura tayo. O kaya, sometimes naririnig natin may rasyon, ay bibigay ang barangay, nag-apura tayo para hindi tayo maugusan. Diba? O kaya, nag-apura tayo na matapos ang ating gawain so that we will do more. Pag marami tayong nagagawa, marami tayong pagbibili, marami tayong pera, marami tayong accomplishment, mas mabilis yung yung uh, promotion natin, kaya nag-aapura tayo. None of these reasons was the reason why Mary was in haste. Bakit ba siya nag-apura? nag siya dahil ang isang tao na mahalaga sa kanya, isang tao na minamahal niya, ang kanyang pinsan na Elizabeth ay nangangailangan ng tulong. Kailangan siya. Mary, Elizabeth, needed the presence of Mary and Mary knew that. And so, because of her love for that person, Mary went in haste. Yun ang, ang rason. No? We hurry up so that we can be of service to somebody we love who needs us. Because you love somebody and she needs you, he needs you, you hurry. Dadalian mo para hindi ka para hindi ka malate. Para matulungan mo talaga. Hill country. No? Ano yung hill country? Bulubundukin. Alam naman natin, noon, walang mga tricycle, walang mga van. Pag mag-travel ka, yung maglalakad talaga, maglalakad o magkakabayo kung mayaman ka. Si Mary naman, si Joseph, hindi naman sila mayaman. No? Kaya, naglakad sila. Nasubukan na ba ninyo naglakad sa Bulubundukin? May bitan din Nazareth, in Galilee, Judea, Jerusalem, where the house of Elizabeth malapit doon in Judea, mga 50 to 70 kilometers yun. At lalakad ka ng bundok. Hindi madali yun. Ha? Mga dalawa o tatlong araw mong lalakarin yun. Mga 50 to 70 kilometers. At pag maglakad ka ng tatlo, dalawa, tatlong araw, Marami kang dapat i- i- ihanda. You need to prepare your food. Ang kakainin mo. Saan ka matutulog? Sino magluluto? Yung eh, kung uulan, anong gagawin mo? Ibig sabihin, Mary had to prepare that travel. But she was in haste. Purado siya. At malamang na Marami siyang nakalimutan. And the first thing that he ang nakalimutan niya ay herself, her comfort. Malaking sakripisyo yon para sa kanya. She had to get out of her the comfort of her house, no? Yung sinasabi nilang she had to to get out of her comfort zone. Sarap ng buhay ko dito. Pero nangangailangan yung Yung uh, pinsang ko, ng tulong ko, iwanan ko yon para makatulog at mag-aapura ako. That's the, that's how significant the action of Mary is. Nung sinabi niya, Lord, I am the servant, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Pinatunayan niya ito by giving herself Forgetting herself for the sake of another person, na si Elizabeth niya. 
That's the reason why Mary went in haste. Brothers and sisters, ang ginawa ni, ni Mary para kay Elizabeth, alam ko na it also happens to us. I'm sure many of us here, or maybe all, perhaps all of us here, kaya 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 nga nandito tayo. Because in one time in our lives, we came to Mary, we asked her help, at hindi siya nag-atubili na tumulong sa atin. No? I'm sure of that most of us experience that. Kaya lab na lab natin si Our Lady of Piat. Ano? Kasi alam natin, pag meron tayong kailangan, nandun siya kagad. He will hurry up to help us. Na-experience ko yon At alam ko na-experience din natin lahat. Kaya siguro nandito tayo ngayon, di ba? Marami tayong Kaya kailangan at we are sure no, that Mary will not delay in helping us. Pero bago tayo kumingi ng tulong kay Mary, alalahanin natin, let us remember what Christ told us. What you want others to do to you, you also have to do to others. Mag-isip tayo mag uh, ng dalawang beses bago tayo magpatulong kay Mary. No? Tama ka sabihin sa atin, oh, tutulangan kita. Pero, pagkatapos niyan, tumulong ka rin. Apura-apurahin ko ang pagtulong ko sa iyo. Pero, apurahin mo rin ang pagtulong mo sa kapwa mo. That's the two sides of the coin. No? Jesus says, I will forgive you if you forgive others. I will help you if you help others. And you must help others. No? That's the two sides. Hindi pwedeng, hindi pwedeng tutulungan lang kita. No? Dapat, we reciprocate what Mary does to us. Kaya, as Mary, in many instances, I'm sure, hurried to help us, ganun din tayo. We have to hurry. Wag tayong mag-delay in helping others, lalong-lalo na yung mga mahalaga sa atin. And we show our love to that person by being in His presence and in her presence pag nangangailangan tayo, nangangailangan siya. Kaya, ano kaya? Yung mga yung mga nanalo, mga officials natin, ano? Bakit sila binoto ng tao? Kasi, mahal siya. No? Mahal ng tao siya lang siya. At mahal din niya ang mga tao. No? Diba? Yung naman sinasabi, mahal ko kayo, kaya boto niyo ako. And it's true. But, when these people are in need, hurry up to be in their presence to provide what they need. Apurahin niyo yung tulay na matagal na, hindi natatapos Apurahin niyo yun. Tapusin na. Diba? Tayo na mga, tayo na mga, uh, may mga, may mga relatives nag-aaway-aaway tungkol sa lupa. Tapusin na ninyo yan. Hurry up. Kasi you love one another. Yung konting away na yan, konting pagbibigay lang, konting, um, dagdag pa na pagmamahal, matatapos na yan. Apurahin nyo, hurry up! Because, why do you do that? Because you love that person. 
maraming uh, instance that we have to hurry up. Ma masakit yung anak mo. Hurry up! Tahan mo sa ospital. O nga pala, I'm, I'm sorry to announce that Father Camilo Casillejo just died last night. I just, rem I just remember it now. Let us please pray for him. Father Camilo Castillejo. Dear hey, brothers and sisters, that's, that's the significance of the visitation of Mary. Minsan, magpagpag pag may may rasyon sa barangay, bilis-bilis natin, no? Pero kung sasabihin, let us clean up the town. We, we drag our feet, no? Hindi na, we delay. Bakit? Di ba natin mahal ang ating bayan? Di ba natin mahal ang ating community? We should hurry up like Mary did. And why did she do that? Because she loved that person. Hurry up in haste to show that you are a follower of Mary and that you love your, the, your fellow human beings, you love God and your community. Let's all stand. Please stand. I believe in God. The Father, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Reflecting on the life of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of the Apostles, and Mother of the Church, let us with renewed devotion beseech God's mercy that as his son came into the world to bring the good news to the poor and to heal the contrite of heart, so in our own time also he may bring salvation to all in need. Our response is, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the church that it may never waver in her task of proclaiming the gospel, especially during this time of pandemic. May every Christian community, like Mary, our model of the Synodal Church, realize the urgency of God's message to be shared to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. We pray for the Pope, bishops, clergy, and consecrated persons that the celebration of this Synod may help us to discern God's will and to boldly carry it out and that they may follow Christ more intensely and be united with him more deeply in living humble and simple lives, thereby becoming witnesses of love and care for the poor, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. us. We pray for those in government office, the elected officials, and all those in government service. May they come to realize that the privilege of service entrusted to them is a continuation and extension of Jesus' mission for the poor, the lost, and deprived. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. We pray that joy be preserved in all families. May parents nurture their children, and that their children, in turn, love and respect and obey their parents. May the Mass, a perpetual remembrance of that meal and the cross, be the source of unity and nourishment for every family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously Lord. hear us. We pray for the sick, the victims of injustice, for the casualties of wars and other forms of violence, and all those who suffer. May they find comfort in abandoning themselves into God's hands, who sent His Son into the world to take on the burden of human suffering 
and that all people assist them in their need, shun violence and war, thus restoring joy into their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all those who believe in Christ. May we come together into one flock, one family of God, and allow the Holy Spirit, who reveals the will of the Father, may lead us ever deeper into the communion of the Church, foster our participation in it, and equip us to go out on mission. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. Loving God, you gave us Jesus Christ, who became one like us in all things, and Mary, who is one of us, to be our mother and example. We make our prayer for those who love, we love and care for. Hear our prayers and grant that we may live in your grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, may our gifts be sanctified by the Holy Spirit who formed the Blessed Virgin Mary to be a new creation and bathed her with the dew of heavenly grace so that she might bear the fruit of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for by your Holy Spirit you inspired Elizabeth to reveal the surpassing honor you have given to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Mary is rightly hailed as blessed because she believed in your promise of salvation. In her act of loving service, she is greeted as the mother of the Lord by the mother of Christ, Herald. We make our own canticle of joy on the lips of God's Virgin Mary, and in our lowliness we do proclaim your greatness in the never-ending hymn of the whole company of angels and saints as they cry out. <laughs> Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, regard our bishop and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
let your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray the up of his spirit to all communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked fall, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. 
understand. Let us pray. Lord our God, you have nourished the church with your sacramental gifts and poured out on it your Holy Spirit. May it hasten to bring your message of joy to the whole world so that all peoples who receive your saving word may rejoice in your redeeming love and acknowledge Christ as their Savior, lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for a while for some announcements. As we are to conclude the Misa Mayor of Nuestra Señora de Piat, we would like to express our gratitude to Archbishop Sergio Utleg, Archbishop Emeritus of Tuguegarao, for presiding today's Eucharistic celebration. Palakpakan natin, Sir Archbishop. We thank the clergy, the lay liturgical ministers, the choir under Father Ernest Simeon, and those who accompanied them, Musicam Sacram, for a beautiful liturgical celebration fit for the Queen of the Valley. Mabalunak ni kamu namin, pawaragi kira, nga nangufun para ta celebrasyon na yena tam na si Santa Maria. Bendisyonan na tam ngamin na Diyos. Mabalo ta ngamin nga nangyawa ta ufun, whether cash or in kind, everything is pleasing to God when it comes from the heart. Okay? So, pagkatapos po ng misa, ilabas po natin ang ating mga panyo at Batiin natin ang mahal na ina sa kanyang pistahan. Please stand. Ave Regina, Mother that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Almighty, everlasting God, who by the cooperation of the Holy Spirit, you prepare the body and soul of Mary, glorious virgin and mother, to become a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant by her gracious intercession, in whose commemoration we rejoice, we may be delivered from present evils and from everlasting deaths, to the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Father of mercies bless you through the intercession of Blessed Mary, ever virgin, 
through whom he chose to remedy the fall of our first parents. Amen. May Jesus Christ, who in the womb of the Blessed Virgin became our brother and our savior, free your hearts, free your hearts from every trace of sin. Amen. May the Holy Spirit increase in you the grace of true faith and of hope for heaven, that you may walk in the ways of the gospel and so reach your eternal home. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Protection on bending.